Just got my ass beat, picked up by a trucker. I'm now pulling in with the trucker. I don't trust him. We, he said we could fall asleep. Up. Even point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These he didn't drug us. Kind of weird. Really? Okay. Ten four, good buddy. What a legend. Wow. The game shocked me twice. Two nice people. Shit. This and that other dude, Brody. Brandon, whatever the fuck his name was. Brody, I think it was actually. Geordie. Whatever. Ah, oh, fuck the mailbox. I'm so glad this. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Biatch? You okay now? Is it gone? I. I think. <laughs> I just got a little kid, a Biatch. Shoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. It's Patrick Wilson. Look at him. Looks like him, eh? If you bought him uh, off Wish. Hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? I'm looking for someone. Uh, not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Eyes? Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. His Stay eyes. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Oh, fucking Daniel, you little piece of shit. Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Motherfucker. The Lord. I lost an eye because of you. I will plant you in front of everyone here. I'll show you what a miracle is. That poor little girl. Her <sighs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Her Fuck father was know. nice. Yeah, a little too nice. Maybe people won't judge me here. I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Maybe. Always check the back if you can. Oh my god, I'm gonna go in through the back door and see fucking Daniel there. Nevada is like a I don't know. giant slot machine. Smack him in his head. That's a lot of closed doors and fences for such a small church. Right? Jesus loves you written on that building over there in the background. Mm -hmm. In the eyes. In the eyes of the Lord, he said. We hear me and my one eye and my eye patch and he says that to me. The fucking balls on this guy. Feels... Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Amen, sister. It's around about false idols. Wash my face. Clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. What do you want? Don't scare Daniel. Oh, I'm fucking catching that motherfucker. This is his fault. He fucked off with Finn when I told him not to. 
I lost an eye because of it. We lost our job. He's the one that sent the cop flying. That's why our dad is dead. He was outside. Oh, you know what? I know you understand. I got four fifths of fuck. I take care of people. Maybe they need it. How much did I donate? A dollar? Take my fucking pin now, yo. Kiss a pin. Pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Fuck off with you. Give me that one. Well, I paid for it. Fucking earth we did. Take what's ours. But remember, a serpent can enter any garden. Even ours. So does anybody want to testify before the Lord? Speak now. <laughs> oh. Why are they all sitting there going, oh, Mom Shiva, oh, Mom Shiva, oh, Mom Shiva. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. Oh, my brothers and sisters. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Don't call me a brother Remember or sister. Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Yes. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. No. Oh, yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. Sure, buddy. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, Full of shit. A child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle the power of grace, we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? This is how some of these people are, you know, they're like Do brainwashed. I don't care if you believe, but. Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member. And our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Oh, God. I gotta say, anyone can have faith, anyone can believe. You can do what you want. But God, brainwashing is it's a big thing about it. Daniel. Oh, praise be the prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us. Weed. To guide us from the wilderness. A weed farm. To our destiny. To getting now high. Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. A giant spliff. random NPC voice. Daniel's been touched by God. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you. 
He's got the gift. I'd like to listen to individual comments from the crowd. Now we have a voice, a messenger. He didn't say anything. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. We must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. No, no, thank you. And God bless all of you. Amen. Daniel don't look happy, man. He's like a prisoner. Look at him. He's being held against his will. That's what that is. Oh, we'll keep you here and we'll keep you safe and you'll be the messenger. Said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh, yeah. There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please. Talk to me outside. Exploiting this motherfucker. Coming today. <laughs> Go down there and fuck him up. Oh, could this be the end of this episode? Not yet. Oh, uh, hi. Hi, random I girl. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. Hey, GG's. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here, too. We can <laughs> see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Black, got the black hat. Uh, no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's too bad. Why doesn't Daniel hear you? Heal you? Cause he's a fraud. Hey. He's just a what kid. happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello. What the cake. Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. <laughs> what do you need? It's making me wildly uncomfortable. <sighs> I need to get more information on these mofos. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> She can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. She can't ever sin. Okay. All right, buddy. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Not for long, by the sounds of things with you. Uh, her voice doesn't match her. It's like, like a little baby. It's it's weird. I, I don't. This whole situation makes me extremely fucking uncomfortable. What is this place? This is our home, <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we are all chosen by God. You're about to be chosen a lot sooner than the rest of us. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's going to be so happy when he sees you. Oh, no, don't touch he me. He you so much for his birthday. I don't want to get the plague. Like a late surprise. She just gave me the plague. Fucking thieves. Look they at like how much money is there. the living proof of their faith. And mine. 
I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh, my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You're a prick. Grown up and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Yep. Because of yep. me? Yep. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I can't see you hugging me. Because I've got one fucking eye. Oh, every part of me will say, I fucking warned you, motherfucker. I didn't fucking warn you. It's over, Daniel. We just gotta walk on. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So... Are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look, Fuck one off, step bitch. at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... So... Overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sure Sean, you did. You must be a believer now in our Lord, too. <laughs> well... Not really. Not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first... I was on Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take Sarah. care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay. The fuck are you talking to? Go, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Sarah Lee. Sean. This it's bitch. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. Sarah Lee. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. Shut I was up. In a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. God or you? God, of course. I'm his family. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Not Fucking oath they are. 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Why not Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him, I know why you're spared, I touch Sean. me. That's because your heart's full of sins. You've led your brother into killing one of God's innocent creatures, disrupting nature's balance. This is a terrible sin, You're and until sin. you make penance for it, touch me. I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel! Come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Ooh. Daniel. Sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. 
Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. Mm. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude! What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Get up. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Wow. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel... Sean? My brother's a traitor. Karen? You won't get him back. Who the fuck is Karen? Let's go. Why is that my mom? That's my mom's and shit. Wow, Karen. I was thinking, who the fuck is Karen? Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well... Um... I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. <laughs> you know, Sean... Sooner or later... We're gonna have to talk. I can't believe this. I'm, I'm in shock. I am in shock. I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Karen is my mom's. Wow. So dad's dead. I call my mom Karen. My brother's brainwashed. This guy pulled a gun out on me. I swear this game is infuriating me because I just want powers to rip every motherfucker's head clean off. This is the truth. Look at the bruises he's got from getting the shit kicked out of him non-stop. This guy bleeds blood, sweat, tears for his fucking family. Although he's, he's an idiot as well. He's an idiot. When it all happened, he should have just stayed there and took his penance because they would have been able to prove that the cop shot the dad. And how, what are they going to say? Oh, the cop went fly. How did the cop go flying across the fucking room and hit the car and smash his head? How? You know, what are you going to say? Oh, a little fucking nine year old boy yeeted me across the room with magical pals. It wouldn't have stuck with this shit. Oh, you got me some clothes. Having a shower with that fucking thing on and acting like it's not going to get wet is fucking wild.
Man. You know what? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. The fact that he calls his mum Karen confuses me. Karen's note. Be right back. Sure. We'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. I don't remember any of these fucking names. Who's Jacob? Is that my granddad's name? Huh. This isn't her tablet. Talking about prickhead one one two seven oh five five. Oh my bad. Yay, technology. She came prepared. Welcome to oh let's read this. Fuck me. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Oh, you see, Daniel wouldn't know that this is his mum. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, am with you always to the very end of age. Hmm. Matthew twenty-eight nineteen to 20. Mission. Accept the Lord. Spread the word of Jesus. Keep the faith with the community. Seek and save the lost. Luke nineteen ten. A message from the Reverend Mother Lisbeth Fisher. As the pastor of our holy church, I have devoted my life and love to the teachings of the gospel of our Lord. I was blessed since childhood to be given this call, given this calling, and it's my privilege to spread the word and preside over this loving, righteous community of Haven Point. I look forward to meeting each and every one who seeks out our humble refuge. Together, we will begin the journey to a new life guided by the Spirit of the Lord and Saviour. Bless you all. The Haven Point community, Haven Point, Nevada, is a living oasis where individuals and families can live out their faith in a community dedicated to the teachings of Christ. All who share our faith are welcome to join us, build a bridge to the Lord and His eternal estate. Hospitality. Beloved it's a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for those for these brothers, strangers, as they are. 3 John 1.15 It's like stone cold. I'm kidding. Gratitude. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Forgiveness. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. Just as in Christ, God forgave you. The Ephesians. Is that how you say that? Ephesians. 4.31.32. Okay. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Listen to me. I'm just going to read this in like a fucking quick blurb way because I am not reading all this shit. Slice of heaven, haven point. <sighs> Maybe I will read it. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired the devout following. As she told me in an interview with her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand. But this is not about me and my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you and tell me they did. The members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with a hushed awe at their pastor and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before. I went on one of these revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. 
People were crying, including me. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Bitch. Fuck your church flyer. Fuck your drawer. Fuck Charlie. Sorry, I'm just... Stupid impression. That was my Tom Hardy impression. Oh, Karen's back. Let's look at this shit. I know I shouldn't peek, but... Condoms? Ew. Whatever. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Yeah, look, I'm not reading all the shit that you're writing, Karen. Give a fuck. Diner bills. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Ew. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Yep. You don't want any kids to don't go around traveling America fucking raw dog in it. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody Good. will be looking for me here. Good. I'm not going out. Better wait for Karen in here. Karen. Maybe I should get in. I'm going. Can I clean my dressing? Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Hard right, soon, I guess. What the fuck, yeah. Get in, get out. Maybe I gotta look at the telephone or something. Karen said she left me Jacob's number somewhere. It's on this stupid fucking note. Be right back. Oh. We'll this find is out. Jacob's stupid fucking letter. Who's Jacob? Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. Oh, that's who it is. Oh. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now at Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this... I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at triple uh, at seven five 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 zero one one eight. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacobus. All right, let's call him. Let's call this motherfucker. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's Brandy Highway. Junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. I'm gonna kill everyone. Brainwash my brother. And, and once I get my brother out of all this, I'm gonna slap piss out of him. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I thought I meant draw the curtain back. Myself. So, let's practice. actually fucking draw. Come on, man. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Sure, come on. 
I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. Your pants are on fire. Liar, liar. <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. These mountains really inspire me. I'm the best drawer I've ever been on the video game. Compared to in real life. I wonder who lives around here. It's Come so on. wild and huge. Your mum literally does live around here, I'm just saying. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. All right. Back to reality, dude. I don't know what the fuck else I'm supposed to do. Look at the map, maybe. This country is just way too big. Ah, uh, not. Wait for Karen. All right, that'll work. Let's just rest while I wait for her. This motherfucker must be so back. sore. He just closed one eye then. Hey, sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. I like onion now, Mom. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. Let's fucking do How it. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Because I'm the best. <sighs> I'd like to say dad taught us, but he didn't really, but I'm going to just to make you feel bad. Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. If you care. All right, tell me. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just...
felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. You know what's fucked up? I just realized she said, we gotta get your brother out of a coal. That's cold. No, we gotta get my son. Or our Daniel. No, no, no. We gotta get your brother. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. But you left. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I just said it was too fucking late, bitch. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. For a tough little dude, he gets his ass whooped all the time. All the time. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. What did you do? So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules. Their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms, it's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. I 
Was it yeah. worth it? Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. You're an asshole. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. True that. But I think people should know who they are. Sean is... Not fake it for anybody. He's hitting the hard-hitting questions here. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. Shut up. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. Fuck off. See how you saw the world. So, so I with one eye. Moments with you, Sean. I see it with one eye, bro. It's your loss. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Liar. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You sound so careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Fucking smoking diaries. I don't ask anything. I don't want no cancer to stick up on this bitch. No oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. Yeah, I hate it too, you biatch. He didn't want me to die an early death. Sweet Fuck. irony, huh? Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the plains. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. Sure. Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. I was the same thing. Shut the hell up, lady. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. I need your help, Karen.
Sean, I know I can't change the past. I can't see you, Karen. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I will. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Touch me, okay. bitch. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Oh, well, he did. I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Oh, I thought you can give me a bad okay. ass fucking eye patch. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? No. Yeah. I got this. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Here, try this on. Would you call me a fucking pirate eye patch? I was hoping. Fuck yes. I'm pretty much pirate now. That's our role. Fucked up. Great. Thanks. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. 